Hey guys, what's going on? So I am on my way to the dentist. Before I go there, just wanted to check in with you guys. I'm a little nervous. We'll see which treatment I decide to get, the invisible liners or the actual braces. So let me just show you my teeth before I go. Sorry, my closet is a mess right now. Um, so you see this side is basically straight. <laughs> It's just this one tooth that sticks out farther than this one. This front tooth right here sticks out a little more than this one. And then this one is crooked, a little crooked, like a little twisted, and I hate that. So just basically trying to correct these two teeth, this one and this one. Push this one back a little bit more and straighten this one. And then the rest of these are all straight. And these right here, I don't know, they're a little crooked, but they don't really bother me, but she might do something with those two, so uh, we shall see. All right, wish me luck. All right, so I am sitting here in my car outside the dentist's office before I go into the dentist. Getting my treatment done today, so we shall see what I decide to put on. But anyway, I'm putting some lip balm on because I don't want my lips to be all chapped and dry when they have to keep your mouth open forever. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I'm a little nervous, a little excited, uh, mostly nervous <laughs> about today, so we shall see what happens, so. Hey guys, all right, so I am back from the dentist, and I don't know, I can't really tell from the viewfinder what you guys can see, but, um, I don't know if you can tell which ones I decided to get, if I decided to get the braces the fast braces or if i decided to get invisalign so anyway i decided to get braces so yes i have braces on my teeth your girl has braces now believe it or not um i just decided to get braces just because i don't know i just wanted to strangely push myself out of my comfort zone so anyway um if you are a viewer who happened to click on this channel uh, my name is Lisa welcome to my channel I normally talk about other things on this channel like luxury items fashion beauty travel fragrances and stuff like that but since I do have a YouTube channel I figured I will talk about you know do like a series on my braces just updating you guys on my braces journey so I will make a separate playlist for that so if you want to check out that this is going to be um, the first part of it uh, you can just check that out um, in the playlist section below um, anyway yeah I decided to get braces just to push myself out of my comfort zone and I wasn't really scared of how I would look or the aesthetics of them uh, but most likely I mean the more so the thing I was scared about with having braces is getting food stuck all in my teeth and the hygiene of it and stuff like that because eating, you know, you have to do things totally different. Like just eating, you can't just regularly eat. You have to clean your teeth each time you eat and you're worried about stuff and food getting stuck in there and that's just gross to me. Like food stuck in your, I don't know, it just is... Um, so, uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to deal with that. But anyway, um, these are a different technology of braces. They're called fast braces. And when I went in, I originally was deciding to get Invisalign, but then she told me about this new technology called fast braces and they move your teeth 
faster than traditional braces so they do have different brackets so i'll have to put a close-up of my teeth um let me just show them to you if you can see so i decided to get the clear ones so the brackets are clear and actually the brackets are triangular rather than square shaped like traditional brackets so it does have this white wire and these on the right which are the two teeth i'm trying to correct um but anyway these have little yellow dots on them and then the left two have red dots on them so so anyway um she said they will eventually fade away they just do that so that you know the dentist or personnel they can tell the right side from the left side but they will eventually fade away and right now i just have four this these four front teeth and then eventually they will add more like in three weeks they'll add more to the top and she did decide to do some on the bottom so then in the three weeks after that they will add some more on the bottom so anyway i'll just update you guys every so often um they decide to do just four right now just to grow bone uh whatever that means so they like start growing bone first and then in three weeks when they put the other ones on i guess they'll do an adjustment so do they hurt no they don't hurt they don't hurt at all i don't have any pain they just feel tight kind of tight like a little bit of pressure i would say more so on the right side which is the basically the teeth that i want to correct so uh what else um yeah i just decided to get this new technology of braces because fast braces like i said are supposed to move your teeth a little bit faster so with invisalign i was quoted as needing to wear them for six months these should be three months i was quoted so we shall see if it's actually three months i know a lot of times they tell you that and it's longer so i'm going to document um if it's actually three weeks or if it's longer and i know different things can affect that so we shall see um what else uh so they don't hurt i did get clear ones and you know so the brackets and the wire well the brackets are clear and the bands are clear but the wire across it is white and that little white wire kind of bothers me because that kind of sticks out. Um, but anyway, or stands out rather, but I don't know. We'll see. It is what it is. Uh, right now I just feel kind of self-conscious, like smiling. So as you guys know from my job, or as you may know, I like have to talk to people a lot or have to talk a lot on the phone and to people and I talk to people up close. So right now i feel a little bit self-conscious and i kind of want to walk around just like this without smiling or making my teeth show too much but anyway i'm sure i will get over that as most people say they do it just is what it is and whatever i'll just have to deal with it and other people will just have to deal with it i'm not the first one to wear braces so whatever anyway um let me show you what i got uh while i'm talking I don't want the video to be too long so I decided to pick up a few things from Amazon just in preparation for this and if anyone out there has worn braces or is wearing braces or as an adult or whatever and has any tips for me please leave them down below I definitely need your help because this is my first time obviously with braces so I would love 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 any tips or tricks or I don't know advice anything please um so anyway um this is one of the things i got i decided to get a electric toothbrush this is the oral b one i decided to get the round one which is supposed to be better for braces than the traditional like long-headed one and i heard that they do have a specific like electric toothbrush or or rotating toothbrush specifically for braces i might check that out and these are just some replacement heads for it um anyway so like i said i decided to get clear braces and i don't know i couldn't go way you know that much out of my comfort zone to get the metal ones at least not yet 
Uh, so yeah, anyway, um, with clear braces, you have to be a little bit more careful. You have to be really cognizant or careful of the things that you eat so that they won't stain. Like, you know, who wants to walk around with stained looking brown or yellow or red teeth? So there's certain things that you have to be really careful of eating or to avoid, such as things that stain a lot. Um, things like coffee and tea, which I love coffee <laughs> and I love tea. So anyway, I'll be avoiding those, uh, things like ketchup and I don't even like ketchup. Yes. I'm the only person in the United States who doesn't like ketchup. I know, but I don't, I can eat it a little bit more now, but, um, yeah, I don't eat ketchup. Uh, things like pasta sauce, uh, yellow curry, turmeric. You know, turmeric is one of the worst staining things that you could possibly eat. Uh, citrus foods, things like soda, they said. Um, so I'm going to have to try to find some straws so that it's, you know, if I drink something, it's not all over your teeth. And so I'm going to have to pick up some straws and um, anything that will stain your teeth. So uh have to be avoiding stuff like that. Anyway, um... So I got, well, let me just show you this. I got this water flosser, this water pick, and I just decided to get this little handheld one. Um, yeah, so I didn't get the traditional big one with the bigger tank just because I'm kind of the person, it just kind of took up too much real estate on my kid, my kitchen on my bathroom countertop and I just didn't want that. I'm the kind of person who likes a more clean, seamless, uncluttered look and it just I just didn't want that big thing on my countertop. I might change my mind, so we'll see. So like even in my kitchen, I don't like to have a whole bunch of appliances. I just have like two or something like that um, just so it can have a clean, seamless look. I don't know, that's just me, I'm weird. But I might change my mind later. Um, so this one is a handheld one. You just have to fill up the reservoir of water more times. So I might get irritated by that. Um, I only have to use, you know, wear these for three months. But obviously, you know, you can use this forever. So we shall see. I might end up getting the bigger one after all. But anyway, other thing I got were these Dentex Slim brushes, which are like little pipe cleaner things that you can feed through your teeth and your braces to get food out. So I got those. And then I also got these proxy brush. These are tight. They come in different um, widths. So like this one is tight. They have one that's super tight for super tight areas. And then they have one that's a little wider and so on and so on. But anyway, kind of the same concept as these Dentec ones. And then I also got some on the go little Colgate whisk max little mini toothbrushes and they have like this little pointed end on the end so you can pick food out of your teeth. Sounds so disgusting. But anyway, it has like the toothpaste in it already. So yeah, and I'm gonna have to get another little mini travel toothbrush uh, that folds up. So I got all this extra stuff to carry with me now, guys, like in my purse. And you guys know I don't like larger purses right now. I like my smaller bags. So we're going to see how that's going to work out. Uh, more stuff to carry. But anyway, I got these uh, brush picks that are kind of like little toothpicks to pick stuff out. It sounds so disgusting, picking stuff out of your teeth. But anyway, I just decided to come prepared. And I guess that's all I have right now. So, like I said, if there's anything else, um, I need like some little flosser things also, I know, to kind of thread through your teeth. Um, you know, if I'm not using this water pick or on the go, so I do need to get that. But that's what these uh, little proxy brushes also help with. So anyway, guys, um, I guess that's it. I can't really think of anything else. If I forgot anything, you can always leave me a question below. And um, I don't know if I mentioned. Um, so fast braces have different brackets. I don't remember what I said. So if I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry. Um, fast braces have different 
brackets than traditional braces. Traditional braces have more square brackets and these have more triangular brackets. So it's supposed to move your teeth faster. Uh, you don't have to go to an orthodontist. They don't ever have to extract teeth. They just, you know, deal with your existing teeth. I, I don't know, I still have all of my teeth. I've never had my wisdom teeth pulled, so I still have all of my wisdom teeth and all that. And yeah, so anyway, it's different. You don't have to go to an orthodontist. You can just go to a regular dentist if your dentist does these fast braces. So that's another different. Um, not everyone will be eligible to get fast braces. So obviously you have to go to a consultation and see if you're eligible and not everyone is eligible for Invisalign it just depends on you know what you have going on so I don't have like a really severe case so they say um, I don't have a problem with my bite or I don't have to you know like I don't have really big open spaces or really big gaps to close or anything like that I basically just want to push this front tooth back and untwist this other tooth and the ones on the bottom so uh, the two on the bottom so we shall see how it goes anyway guys i hope you guys have an amazing day if you're not subscribed to my channel i would love for you to subscribe and definitely have a wonderful day until i see you guys on the next video bye